So yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my new channel again. This is MA and today we are going to talk about how you can pass the interview for some call center positions that you are applying for. Uh, take note, I am not from HR or from recruitment. Uh, these are just my personal um, experiences and uh, what I observed when I underwent uh, some interviews in the past. So for the record, when I was in college, I was trying to become a working student. So I tried to apply uh, into call central companies and I got rejected twice. Twice. <laughs> but after graduation, we had a job fair in school and then I applied there, I tried again, and then I got it. Yay! So the interview went pretty well. On the same day I got uh, the result and I knew that I passed, I was given all the requirements needed and you will get the job offer probably a day after or right on the same day of your interview. Alright, so right now let's go back to the topic and I'm gonna go ahead and share you some tips on how you can pass the interview or probably how you can handle some nerve-wracking situations like this. So first, um, arrive super early. So this will give you enough time to actually go to the restroom, prepare, uh, retouch or anything. Uh, make sure that you are looking fresh because we are actually working on a good first impression. For example, your interview is at 2 p.m. Be there probably 12.30 or 1 p.m. so you have uh, ample time to check out the, the facility, observe uh, the employees, mingle with other applicants, uh, read some brochures. Also, be extra nice to the security guards, housekeeping, or any company staff that you will meet. It's very important. Okay? Wear a professional attire regardless of the time of your interview. Some interviews in a call center are scheduled at midnight. But that doesn't matter, okay? You have to be always looking professional. You have to look presentable. Shirts are a no-no. Don't wear t-shirts. And this is what I normally do. I think out loud all the time. While I'm waiting for my turn, I assume that I'll be asked with um, common interview questions such as, uh, how do you see yourself five years from now? Tell us something about yourself. Or why should we hire you? What are your strengths and weaknesses? So in my mind, I'm already preparing some answers for those. So once uh, you get hit by those questions, you are actually prepared. Ahead of time, do your research about the company or the position that you are applying for. And since you are trying to sell yourself, you have to make them realize that you really know what you're getting yourself into and you're very interested about their company. You can check their company website or check their Facebook page. So once it's already your turn, greet the interviewer and wear a genuine smile. When I say genuine, there should be a wrinkle in your eyes like this, okay? Because if it's like this, it's fake, okay? And they would know it. They would notice it. Also, make sure that your hands are ready for a possible handshake. Make sure that it's not sweaty, it's not smelly or anything. Use some alcohol, hand sanitizer, or a cologne. Speaking of a cologne, don't wear too much perfume, okay? Some people are actually distracted by that. Some people are actually sensitive to strong smell. Also, avoid focusing too much on your accent, okay? Don't fake it, because um, actually what's important to them, uh, grammar and vocabulary, okay? Be concise with your answers and speak uh, clearly. If you are transferring companies, Never ever badmouth your previous employer or never say any negative things about your co-workers or your previous boss. Show confidence but never too arrogant, okay? Red flag. Mind your body language and hand gestures, okay? If you can avoid rolling your eyes like this, looking at your watch, leaning on the chair or slouching or crossing your um, arms like this, avoid those. If you are applying as a technical support, be extra descriptive. Use instructional phrases and use prepositions of places like under, beneath, below, above, on top, on the left, on the right. Uh, use those, okay? Because those are very important when it comes to doing your job. If it's going to be a customer service, be friendly with the tone of your voice but assertive, okay? Most probably you will undergo a mock call with the interviewer or probably a client. You can go ahead and practice yourself in the mirror talking. Make sure that you're actually smiling. That will help you build that friendly tone. 
Another important thing is that you have to read your own resume. Make sure that you're actually familiar with all the details in there and that they are factual. Most interviewers will just ask you some questions from your resume and you have to know them, especially like dates of your graduation, birthdays of your uh, parents, schools that you attended. Uh, prepare for some small talk. When I say small talk, your interviewer will probably ask you some random questions about uh, yourself or about the last thing that you did, like the last film that you saw, uh, your hobby, uh, favorite song, favorite um, artist or whatever. Make sure that you know what you are talking about. Don't claim something or don't be a poster saying that you have uh, read um, Harry Potter. Because what if the interviewer knows Harry Potter too much and then asks you some questions from it or about it and you can't answer it. Or if you don't watch uh, Game of Thrones, don't claim that you are a fan of Game of Thrones. Most people know the show by heart. Read the news. Know about the current events in the country. That will help you build a rapport or, you know, uh, build a relationship with the interviewer. Normally, the next question will be a follow-up from your previous answer. Okay? The interview process is not the proper timing to ask for benefits or your pay. Keep that in mind. What you can probably ask the interviewer is his or her experiences with the company or, or how does he feel about the job. So that's it guys, I hope my tips will help you ace the interview and if you think I missed something, you can go ahead and put them in the comment section below and you can probably have another session. And also if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel down here. I don't want to make this video very long. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can go ahead and just put them in the comment section below. And you can also visit my call center related pages. I do have the links in the description box. So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!